Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to paint this, or at least how I painted this. This is actually acrylic and as you can tell I actually touched it in this dry. That's not something I normally work with. Normally I work with oil paints. So today we're going to do something a little different. So grab your brushes, grab your paint, and let's get painting. So we're starting out on a 16 by 20 canvas that's already primed. So I went ahead and drew a picture of a hummingbird and I drew it with charcoal. I love drawing with charcoal because it's easy to use, easy to erase, and it actually shows up really nice. Now if I wanted to I can also seal this so the charcoal doesn't come off. But in this case we just let it fly. For this picture I decided not to seal this. If I was to seal it, it would actually show these nice dark lines and taking acrylic paint and painting over top of charcoal that hasn't been sealed will actually kind of dissolve with the paint. So you don't have to worry about really deep black lines in your picture that you have to figure out how to cover over top of. At this point I'm just using white and black acrylic paint and making a grayscale. I'm using acrylic paint at this point and I'm actually using it like I'm sculpting the picture. So if I make any mistakes or anything like that I could I could actually fix it, go right over top and actually readjust. But I'm also developing the shape underneath. So no real detail at this point. Right now it's really about blocking in and developing the shape. Now if you're enjoying what you like so far, please hit that bell and the subscribe button and don't forget to leave any comments. So if you enjoy painting, in the comment section below let me know if you prefer oil paint or acrylic paint and if you like, tell me why. So with a black and white acrylic paint, I'm just trying to refine these shapes here a little bit so it actually starts making sense. So you're going to see some lights and some darks to actually show the feathers in the wings. And trying to make sure it goes in the right direction. And I'm also still developing the form. This is kind of interesting. For a long time I've actually been doing landscapes. So this is a little bit different. I haven't done a bird in quite a while. Working with acrylic paint is a little different for me. So it does go on definitely different than oil paints. It's been quite interesting. So I do realize you can add water to actually thin it down. Um, but the biggest concern really when it comes to acrylic paint is how fast it dries. Now the biggest issue with that is because I'm used to oil paints trying to figure out how to make it blend well. Because this is more of the blocking in stage and there's still going to be a lot more details and stuff added afterwards, the blending isn't as critical right now at this stage. Right now I'm primarily focused on tone and shape.
Working on the body of the hummingbird, I want to be really careful. I want to make sure I get that roundish shape. So I want to make sure I add the shadows and the highlights and all that good stuff in the right spot. So I want to take my time with this and I may go over a few spots a few different times just to go ahead and make sure it's where I'd like it to be. When you're doing this, you also want to make sure you realize you're dealing with feathers. So there's a ton of, you know, 100,000, yeah, maybe I miscounted. There's a lot of feathers on this little guy. So, and all of those will vary as far as the shadows and stuff like that. So keep that in mind as well. This is where I experiment with some blending techniques. Swish the brush back and forth and nothing better than the finger. <laughs> it actually seemed to do better than a brush for this particular application.
Now I'm working on the eye. Yeah, it looks pretty obvious, but the one thing I wanted to make sure that I did was make sure there was nothing really, really black around his eye so his eye would actually stand out. So of course I'm going to highlight it with some white, but I really want to make sure that black stood out.
So thank you to all of those who made it this far and all the subscribers and all the guys that like the like button and all that good stuff. So I appreciate that. That definitely helps the channel. But you guys, I welcome you back to check out the next video, which I will be posting shortly. It will go ahead and show you how to do the rest of the detail on the, on the, on the rest of this. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys very much for joining me.